This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. When we think about the COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy in the black community, let's remember it didn't happen by chance. It's justified in history. But the will to change the narrative is strong today, and our people are lending their voices to the conversation. We're sharing our stories and the reasons that made us choose the vaccine so we can lead the way for others to make a well-informed choice, too. To hear our stories, visit hereforuswa.org. Realtors abide by a code of ethics. This is Article 9 in action. Beth, a first-time homebuyer, knew nothing about the home buying process except that she wanted to buy a home. But her Realtor had the expertise to make sure Beth understood every document, even giving her copies to review with her lawyer so Beth could close on her first home with confidence. Complicated things explained in simple terms. The difference between an agent and a Realtor is real. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. That's who we are. What's up? It's your boy, the Ted Smith. Thanks for listening to the Men's Room Daily Podcast. Want more? Check out the greatest podcast in all the land. The podcast. Be sure to subscribe and listen to a brand new episode every Tuesday night. Somebody out there deserves to be recognized. And the men's room knows just who it is. So to you, we say, bottoms up, sailor. You're the toast of our shot of the day. Drink time it is, and as usual, we head to see Drink Task and see the throw how to find out who we're toasting. Yes, indeed, and today we're toasting 40-year-old Antonio Stanley of Cincinnati, Ohio. You know, we're not even really toasting him. We're simply toasting the police report about him. Understand, he's facing drug charges after police found a large amount of marijuana and THC wax in his car during a traffic stop. He was busted on felony uh, felony trafficking and possession counts after he was pulled over on I-75. He's being held in the Butler Jail, all right? So, along with narcotics, cops seized drug paraphernalia, cash, and a phone, all right? And they put all this stuff in the evidence, but what kills me is one of the things they actually added in the evidence, and the only thing they gave a street value of, okay? So, again, they found him with drugs. They found him with paraphernalia. They don't say how much those drugs would be worth. But they do point out they also confiscated a freestone pickle. Now, I don't know if you know the freestone pickle. It's one of those individually wrapped pickles, right? Just a little snack. All right. And that was part of it. And they, the confiscated pickle has an estimated, quote, street value of $1. No. Mm. They added this to the goddamn police report. Yeah. They had a pickle on them. Where was that, Butler, PA? Uh, it's No, this was in Cincinnati. Oh, all right. But I'm like, come on, man. I don't think he had the intent to sell contraband pickles. I think he was more into the drug thing. But hey, I digress. <laughs> so we poured this booze at street never, value. I mean, you never know, man. I, I know. But again, I street know, value. It's a nice street, street value. value. Dollar. Hey, dog, you got uh, some of that THC wax in that pickle, brother. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we pour this booze and we drink this booze because we think it's yummy. 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 So over the tongue and down the throat to party in our tummies. Down the hola, bitch You know it's bad choice Friday. It's bad choice Friday. You know it's bad choice Friday. Hey, man, this is your fault. Come on. And today on a Bad Choice Friday, we celebrate the 75th birthday today of Sir Elton John. Now, Elton John is a legend, obviously, but he has done uh, a couple of cheesy songs from time to time. No. So today we put up a couple of his best cheesies. Uh, Don't Go Breaking My Heart with Kiki D up against Crocodile Rock. Mike, how was the voting? It was not very close there, Miles, with a 61-38 split over the course of 230 votes. We set out to not break Elton John's heart. It is a rock station, therefore, for Bad Choice Friday, enjoy a little crocodile rock. Bitches, welcome to the weekend. You are listening to The Men's Room, 99.9 KISW, Seattle. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. When we think about the COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy in the black community, let's remember, it didn't happen by chance. It's justified in history. But the will to change the narrative is strong today, and our people are lending their voices to the conversation. We're sharing our stories and the reasons that made us choose the vaccine so we can lead the way for others to make a well-informed choice, too. To hear our stories, visit hereforuswa.org. 99.9 KISW. We return to the men's room with Miles and Thrill. Hi, how are you? Time for all TV news all time. Time for TV time at 10. And now, because your pathetic life is confined to countless hours in front of a talking box, the Men's Room presents TV Time with Ted. Do 
fun choices? You just want to guess. Let's just guess. Hell with it. Hell with it. You know what? Yeah. Hell with it. Yeah. Crazy. Or is it late night? It was almost right there in the final. All these guys have teams of talents and lighting that's going for monologues each and every night. <laughs> it is up to you to determine, is this an actual late night joke and from whom? Or could it be a V. Ted Smith original? <laughs> I was just curse there. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, man. Happy hour is 30 minutes from now. Yeah. Just wait for it. Thanks for the reminder. Uh, General Mills has announced there's a shortage of pizza rolls. And men over 35, stop eating them. You're ruining it for guys in their 20s. <laughs> I'm going to guess either Ted or Fallon. No, it's Ted Smith. Ted. The smile on your face. It is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a pizza roll shortage. I just like how they explain it because it sounds like there's so much gravity. It's Listen. like, hey, man, we're running out of pizza rolls. It's not the end of the world. But if you call it a shortage, people get desperate, right? You, you don't realize... As far as the frozen food world, the pizza roll is the most difficult thing to nail. You, so now, you got a you got a whole thing of cheese and stuff to <laughs> clean up in your basket. You need to keep the delicious molten lava, of the processed cheese, within the pizza roll, but without it exploding. There's a fine line. It's a real fine line. Pulling it off. The CEOs of every major airline have called on President Joe Biden. To drop the federal mask mandate. In fact, each airline released its own statement. American Airlines said we complied with the mask mandate long enough. United said it's time for a return to normalcy. Spirit Airlines said, what? There was a mask mandate? Uh, Seth Myers. Found. Found. CEOs of every major U.S. airline called on President Biden to drop the federal mask mandate. Each airline actually released its own statement about it. Uh, take a look. American Airlines said, we complied with the mask mandate long enough. <laughs> United said, it's time for a return to normalcy. Spirit Airlines said, wait, there was a mask mandate? <clears throat> Due to a shortage in ingredients, General Mills is struggling to supply grocery stores with Tatino pizza rolls and Pillsbury uh, cookie dough. Honestly, when I heard this, I was like, TV shortage? I wasn't thinking tortilla news pizza. Myers. Smith. Fallon. Due to a shortage of ingredients, General Mills is struggling to supply grocery stores with Tortino's pizza rolls and Pillsbury cookie dough. Honestly, when I heard there was a TP shortage, I wasn't thinking Tortino's pizza. Also, a shortage of pizza rolls and cookie dough. Like, they're just some sad, sad dude. I think, I think that's a very big commentary about things in general. This is a shortage. Pizza rolls and cookie dough. I would have bought, bought the 50 pack if I could have. To Tito's, like, yeah, the party pizzas are fine. <laughs> so what goes to the pizza roll? <laughs> or the, right? What's the difference? I don't know. Uh... Uber has reached a deal uh, to list all New York City taxis on its app. They hashed out a deal by screaming at each other through open car windows. <laughs> Fallon. Myers. That should be Myers, but it's Fallon. Uber has reached a deal to list all New York City taxis on its app. And this makes sense. They hashed out the deal by screaming at each other through open car windows. <laughs> uh, all right. This is kind of a funny story. Anthony Anderson. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows him, of course, from Barbershop. Uh, but he, he's been in a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Probably blackish. You, know, you see him every week on your TV. So he walked to Best Buy last weekend to buy some TVs for his new apartment in New York. But he didn't have a car. So a couple right. people gave him a ride home. Hey, everybody, what's going on? <laughs> I have no idea who these people are, but I'm driving a vehicle right now because I just went to Best Buy to buy some TVs for my new place in New York. He offered to drive me home, but didn't tell me he had a friend in the car. <laughs> oh, I'm Alex. <laughs> that's Alex, and that's Charm right there. And I'm driving their car. So if I don't make it back to the set of law and order, call the police. This is what they look like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you know what's weird? It about. is funny, but like this isn't even an East Coast story. I was in an alley in in Seattle once before a game, so and you know, smoking something. Some guys like you're Ted Smith. I was like, yeah, and he goes, I could rob you right now, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, but you won't. And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But then I realized later, like he still he did steal the scarf out of the back of my pocket. Oh no, did he, he did not. Oh yeah. Oh, Are you for real? So he did it. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> but I mean, he was so nonchalant. He goes, "There was boy, yo, I could rob you right now." And I was like, "Yeah, but you won't." And he's like, "No, nah, man." And then I had like a green bandana, and I was like. And SOB actually did rob me. A little no, that's bit. funny. Yep. Just a proof point. That is funny. I could, yeah, so and I Anthony will. Anderson, like he's famous and stuff, but it's the truth. Like, what is those guys? There's you get to a car and there's a second dude. Like they could have just took him. And you're a higher mark. You know what's weird about Anthony Anderson? All right, so I enjoyed the show Blackish. It's in its last season. All right, all right, but for the last what eight seasons, nine, however long it's been, it's a comedic thing. All right, and he's very funny on the show. Then I see a commercial for Law and Order. And one of the first people that shows Anthony Anderson, and now, like he's a hardened detective, and I'm like, can you at least let the other show finish before you do the the 180? That's the character, a good call, he, right. you know what I mean? It was just weird. I did not. It's when I just saw him in the commercial, it's just a role. That's his job. I know, but when I saw him in the commercial, I remember that he had been on it years ago, right? But I had not given it any thought. But like, Black is just so on where he's still silly, and you know, he's with Deion Cole for Christ's sake, right? And then they show him, you know, and he's like, we're going to catch this sexual predator. I'm like, wow, man, that's... Some people just throw their hands up, though, in acting. Like Mark Hamill. Right. You, you're you never going to think I'm anyone else other than Luke, Luke Skywalker. Skywalker. I get it. Don't tell us at that least, he's the least, voice of the Joker. At least we know. Yeah, yeah. At least he's trying. When you visually see him. I was about to say, he had to take his face away to not be Luke Skywalker. Correct. That's it. I mean, it, like, period. He's like, dude, if people see me, I'm Luke Skywalker. If they hear me, fine. Same with uh, Spock. What was his name? Uh, Leonard Nimoy. Leonard Nimoy, yeah. He'll lend his voice to a million things, but if you saw him, it's right. Spock. It you know you said that problem? Ed O'Neill, all right? Sure, Married with Children. Did, did Married with Children, and uh, toward the end of Married with Children, he was in a movie that I guess was supposed to be serious. I never saw it called Dutch, but they did a test screening, mm-hmm. and he's playing like this military guy. They're in court. I mean, it's a serious scene. He said, as soon as I showed up on screen, you're not spoken yet. People started laughing. But that he, he, he cl- broke. Right. Uh, Katie Seagal broke that ice eventually. Surely. Eventually, but, but right, right after, like what you're so exactly what you're saying. You're still a in this. Breathing room. You're still in this right now. You're still in black. Give me a give me a second. Yeah. Well, and Katie Seagal had a lot of years in between, and sure. Sons of Anarchy is a completely different that, role. Right. 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 Which right. helps. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's a tough thing sometimes for me. Honestly, also people show up on stuff, and it takes me a minute to be like, wait a minute, where do I know that person from? Right. That's what uh, I was gonna say. Like the is it is it the sister in in Black Panther? Like I was watching on the plane. I'm like, oh man, she's from uh, she's from the show I watch in England. Oh, is she? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Which yeah. Top Boy has a new season out? You mean his actual sister? Not the I was sister. No, no, she's Black the Panther. sister of a character. Oh. But, yeah, yeah. oh. I'm just saying, the Black Panther, you're like, like, sister, this sister out here. I'm like, man, that's all the Wakanda, brother. Come on. Yeah, well, it doesn't narrow it down. <laughs> Did you see those nails? <laughs> I, again, I t- I'm telling you, the first time I watched Black Panther, I was blown away. I was like, I know all these actors Every from all these nails. different... And it's a good movie, man. It is. It really is. It's good. awesome. One of my favorite stars, man. We used to have a security guard here, and the guy is originally from Africa, right? He has since left, and he like went to school for whatever, but he was Plus. going on vacation or something. <laughs> what did he say to you, Ted, out of the but he said, by the way, I got to text him. We're supposed to, I won't say we're supposed to go. Uh, it's nowhere bad. We're just going to go to a restaurant. He goes, hey, like I'm going back to Africa, so I won't see you for a few weeks. And I was like, huh, all right. And, you know, between soccer and geography, I'm like, sure. What country? And he's like, Wakanda. <laughs> and I start to walk to the elevator. And then I have to like step back like, wait a minute, man. You don't live in Wakanda. <laughs> I love that. But he loved that. <laughs> I, look, yeah, yeah, I know. He got me. <laughs> like, oh, we're going to ride on, man. Right? <laughs> at least I was, at least I caught on enough to stop. Before you got back. on the elevator. Right. Yeah. If I got on the elevator, I never would have lived that one down. <laughs> like, huh, this brother says he's from Wakanda. Uh, you know what? Let's just talk about, we're in Washington State. Let's just talk about it, folks. Now, we're not saying you don't have a great program. Not saying you haven't had a ton of success in the last decade or 15 years. But but you're the number one seed over and over like Gonzaga. We, we got to get that national championship. Wow, wow. And I know it's the NCAA tournament. It's a one and done. I Look, as a sports nerd, we could sit here and argue all day what's better. Sure. But And you run into hot teams. Arkansas obviously is doing good. But, man, that's just – I'm just like – I feel for Gonzaga people. Like, when is it going to happen? I don't know if it will. And and I know you run into hot teams, right? And, and I do understand that. But teams that are seeded number one, even the hot teams don't want to play them. 
I'm number one because no matter how hot you get, mm-hmm. I'm going to crush you. I feel bad for your fan base. You came to the wrong court, homie. That's a, I'm number one. Gonzaga goes through this every year. Where it's like, are you number one? Right? Because yeah. if you run into a quote unquote hot team every year, then you're not a number one team. And I have nothing wrong with Gonzaga. It's but, a tremendous program. Right. They've done, I mean, and it's also, it's a small school. Like, like sure. I'll respect to Coach Few and what they're doing out there. But no I was, doubt. you just like, look, I'm not even a Gonzaga fan, right? But it just, last night I'm like, there's no way this is happening again. 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 Also, uh, if you live in Spokane, you're definitely rooting on the team. You know, like they're your there's hometown. There's no doubt about team. it. But if you're an actual alumni, you paid seventy five thousand dollars a year to go to school. Like, mm-hmm. there's only twelve thousand of it. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean, like, it's not like this big fan base is going crazy because it's all pretty well rich people already before they even get there. Well, I think part of it too for Gonzaga, and this is why people talk about conferences, is just the physical play of playing in a Pac twelve, an ACC, a Big Ten. Sure. Just night in and night out. So, like, I get it. Like, they can only play their schedule. And, and to Gonzaga's credit, again, they schedule they massive games. Schedule. They go out and they'll take on anybody, but those are kind of one-offs. Like I, I, I still think if Gonzaga's in a, in a, in one of the Power Five conferences, and day in and day out, you're getting pushed around by other stronger teams that aren't even necessarily better. It has a different edge. But they're to tougher. It. You should be there. You just should not be the number one seed. That's all we're saying. That's it. You know. Right, well, listen. Arizona. Trust me. Next, like, not that I bet, but like the one year, like this, like everybody asked me this year, and I said, I said the same. I've said the same thing. I think the last two or three years, like the Gonzaga's got it. Gonzaga's got it, and they don't. Now next year, I'll have no faith in them. They'll probably win a chip. I'm right there with you. It's really, two years ago, I really believe. Okay, this is their year, right? And they went a little farther, went a little deeper, and they still played a good game. They just didn't win. I can't fault them for that. But it's like, come on, man. This is every year. When you go and like you said, you know, with Maryland or Duke or teams like that, when they finally edged up to win the championship, they they worked the way right. You made it past the first round. Then the next year, you got to the Sweet Sixteen. The next year, you got to the Elite Eight. The next year, and you kind of go, all right, man. But you also understood, hey, man, the seniors on this team got to the tournament in the first year. This team's here. That just and listen, as a Maryland fan, right? We have a we have a national title, two thousand one, two thousand two. But you're right. We haven't been super good since that. I nope. would, a lot of people are like, would you trade your program for their record? Like, no. Shh. Well, I could say, sure, they've had more success, but that's a tough thing. Like, we always talk about, and, and you live in Seattle, you know this better than anybody. Like, you know, the Seahawks win that Super Bowl. It just, throw you bring it up all the time. It changes everything. the way the country looks at sure. it. Gonzaga will still sure. have a great program, but like, you got to get in there. I want the title. Now, speaking of championships, does anybody know who the defending, reigning women's national championship is? Championship For team. basketball? Yes. Uh, Connecticut? Good guess. Stanford. Oh. Really? Okay. And they're out in Spokane taking on those Lady Terps tonight. Oh, so you can watch that, but obviously the <laughs> men's basketball tournament. Oh, is that on too? <laughs> it's going on <laughs> as well. Uh, and speaking of ladies, I know you like the show. Bridgerton returns tonight on Netflix as well. They, they just flipped off their seats. <laughs> you are listening to the men's room. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. When we think about the COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy in the black community, let's remember, it didn't happen by chance. It's justified in history. But the will to change the narrative is strong today, and our people are lending their voices to the conversation. We're sharing our stories and the reasons that made us choose the vaccine so we can lead the way for others to make a well-informed choice, too. To hear our stories, visit hereforuswa.org. Men's Room returns with Miles and Thrill. Now, let's see what's happening in the real world. All right, here we go. Four of the men are arrested after adjusting the gas pumps and driving away with basically free gas. To Wisconsin, where a big turkey runs wild on the interstate and will not let cars pass. <laughs> Couple of guests have a great time at wedding when the cake was spiked with weed. A fisherman in the U.K. tried to blow up a great white shark and did, in fact, succeed. And England, where people are shocked a 96-year-old woman needs a wheelchair. True story. And time for your headlines. Now, it's time to hit the head. Lines. Here's my cock. All right, Tom, sorry, we got it. We go to Chile where a man has made his sister's wedding a little more interesting. He took it upon himself to add an extra organic ingredient to their seven-tiered wedding cake. Mm. He made sure that the guests were made aware of the spiked tier and kept it away from any minor guests, then posted a video online of all the guests that enjoyed a piece and danced the night away whilst flying high in the clouds. Did you see any of the video? Yes. Man. They looked... That was probably the most fun I've ever seen anybody have at a wedding. It's unbelievable. You know, I understand that the wedding itself is never going to be the most interesting part, and the reception is always going to be a lot more fun, but I have never 
never seen people more into dancing. <laughs> I'm throwing down on that dance floor, man. Get him Where to you, cater your wedding. Uh, maybe should... use some different oils or butters in, in the cake that he made. All right. <laughs> yeah, he spiked it with marijuana. Mm. It's great. Well, they told everyone. Right. That was the whole thing. So it's, it's like, look, if you want to get into this one yeah. cake, we do have another cake. Right. This cake I made. No, it's one layer. One tier, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. This one, seven like, tier cake. Yeah, they, they, they take yeah. it apart, you know what I mean? They say, like, this one is right. this. This is for the grown-ups and also the younger, not old and grown-ups. So the, 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 as far as the topper on the cake goes. Right. So the bride is wearing her dress. Correct. And the dress is kind of like Marilyn Monroe blown up. Correct. And the groom is laying down looking up underneath the dress. Correct. (laughs) It's great. In other news, rumors have made their way across the pond, and it's baffling folks for whatever reason. It's being rumored that Queen Elizabeth, storied monarch of England since 1952, is using a wheelchair. She is 100,000 years old. Yeah. The story goes on to talk about the fact that she's hiding her wheelchair from the public because, you know, leaders never do that. Causing speculation as to why she would be in one. Because she's 95 years old. <laughs> the I, I don't understand. 95. Right. I understand you might be concerned that your great queen is in ill health. Absolutely. That's, but to be shocked that right. a 95-year-old woman might need a wheelchair. Right. Like, this is going to be our troubling, a, a troubling time for our brothers there over the pond. I know. But it's not surprising. She's 95. The fact that a, that a, that a leader has survived this long. I mean, I don't, I don't care people. A leader surviving to 95? I believe she's the longest-serving monarch in Europe. Definitively for the UK. But I believe all of Europe. Like, sure. No one sits on the throne that long. Like, yeah, exactly. I know. Taking that bronze. Oh, oh days no. I felt like it. Oh, dear. Are you still in there? Yes. Uh, I'm out. Uh, a freeway in Milwaukee was backed up thanks to some foul play. You can see what I did there. A video shared online comes courtesy of the local DOT camera. Now it's starting to hit. And caught the humorous incident as it unfolded. Somehow a turkey had gotten loose and was wandering about the freeway. Crews tried to remove the animal safely, but it did cause a massive pileup. That's the thing. That's that. That's all that I saw. Yes, of course, seeing cops chase a turkey, which I, I defy you to catch a dog on turkey anywhere. But then when it kind of pans back, you see the long, long line of people that are slowed down because we're saving the life of a freaking turkey. I was going to say, there's an easier solution. That's right. I mean, Thanksgiving. I, we don't want to hurt animals. I get it. But, man, I got to get to work. Yeah, I mean, uh, Turkey is one of those things that make you stop in your tracks, though. Like, look, a turkey. Right. Somebody hit with You get car. excited like a bald eagle. Like, those are the Fair. two birds where you go like, you know what? But how accommodating is my now. boss Ow. if Ow. I tell my boss I'm running late because there's a turkey in the street? If I'm the boss, like, you're in a car? You're yeah. fired. Well, you're, what's the problem? What happened? He got run over trying to save a turkey. Exactly. Yeah, nobody's buying that. And also, turkeys are smarter than you think. Let the cars roll. It'll just walk itself out of the way, or it'll die, one of the two things. But either way, that is it for your headlines. With that, Mike Hawkins out. Thank you, sir. A men's room happy hour up next exclusively on the Odyssey app. Have a great weekend. Yes, indeed. It is all true. In the meantime, well, hell, we be all about this bitch for 180 seconds or so. So until then, please, please, do what you do best, and for a least the sake. Stay beautiful. The men's room has been taped before a live studio audience. Wardrobe and makeup provided by Mantastic Limited. This has been a presentation of the Men's Room Radio Network. Oh, man! A Double Flush production. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. Realtors abide by a code of ethics. This is Article 9 in action. Beth, a first-time homebuyer, knew nothing about the home buying process except that she wanted to buy a home. But her Realtor had the expertise to make sure Beth understood every document, even giving her copies to review with her lawyer so Beth could close on her first home with confidence. Complicated things explained in simple terms. The difference between an agent and a Realtor is real. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. That's who we are. 
$20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com.